Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry I'm not showing my face today because uh, my hair looks redonkulous, probably even worse than the last video. But on here, I want to talk about um, I want to talk about what what's lately what's what's been on my head lately. Um, but first, I want to show you a couple things. Uh, I got a little more Henry. Um, these are just what's left over buds. And I tipped them upside down in there. Uh, normally I would have tied it off, but it's a really small bundle. And uh, I don't want to tie it off because uh, I don't want to hang um, those other ones that hanged up, uh, that hung up. Um, a lot of a lot of lavender fell all over my altar and behind and whatnot. And I didn't want, I didn't want that scattered. So I have, um, I have it in the bowl so it could dry in my, my wooden mixing bowl. This is what I use for mixing my herbs and, and enchanting them. Um, that and this, I was dropping Ryan's coworker off and I noticed she had this and they, they sell this at Michael's. And it's twenty five dollars originally, and if I got a twenty five, uh, I get Ryan's discount there. Um, so it'd have been a little cheaper. But she um, had that, and she said it was a gift or something. And uh, when I dropped her off, I looked at it. I was like, Oh my god, I want that. It's the same at, at you know at Michael's. And she basically grabbed it and she just chucked it at me. She's like, It's, it's a gift. Take it. And I'm like, Holy shits! And um, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not a bit, uh, I wouldn't say I work with peacocks, like, magically, but I love the beauty of them. Um, I'm not really for sure what peacocks really stand for as much. Um, I know they insert, I know they stand, I think, for, uh, loyalty and integrity or something like that, or, um, a beauty is one big thing, but I think they're awesome. The colors of peacocks are so beautiful. I love the blue and green and a little bit of... Um, a little bit of dark, dark, dark blue, like almost a violet blue in a way, but crimson looking, or, or bright, if you will. And the feathers around there are dark, heavy, teal looking, sea green color feathers, and it's beautiful. And I want it there, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> and I got this, um, at the Dollar Tree, and I thought it was a raccoon at first. I was like, oh, a raccoon and a, a crow and a skull, a couple of skulls, um... But, if you notice on the back, the tail, that's how you can tell the difference between a cat and a raccoon, is that the tail and the, and the body, somewhat of the body, but the tail, if it's big and fat and poofy and the markings on it, it would be different. And there's another skull there, that's so awesome, I didn't even know that. Holy shit, see? This is why I like looking at things. Well, anyways, I got it to Dollar Tree. Love it, oh my god, it's so cool, fucking it. I didn't see that, that's so cool. So I thought he was. Just, I thought the cat was sitting on a rock behind the fence. But yeah, don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But for a dollar, it's pretty sturdy. Love it. Anyways, jump into my books. And yes, I put my statuettes. Um, maybe in my next video I should explain what's on my altar and why I should do that. Um, so lately, since I've been lately, I think I've been gone for like five days um, off my off this channel. Um, in fact, it's because I've been putting myself in these books. I've been reading four books now. Um, I was before reading Ancient Egypt and The Witch's Shield, but I kind of got... I do this. I read a book, and then I kind of get bored a little bit, so I switch to another book, and then read that book, and then I'll go back to, the, you know, my original state, and I go back and forth, and surprise enough, I don't get mixed uh, conversations or mixed misunderstanding of each book. I kind of remember each. But... This book is awesome. It's Practical Magic for Beginners by Brandy Williams. Um, if you guys get a chance, grab this. Um, because she doesn't... She She's also a practitioner, but she's not really... Uh, in this book, she really hits just the witchcraft, the magic part of it. You know, the active part, in a will, if you will. Um, the rituals and spells and, and psychic powers and energies and, and all the, like, the juicy stuff that I've been waiting for. And, and you know, it took me this long, like... I've been in the craft for almost 15 years, um, for 13, 14, 14 years, almost 15 years, give or take. Um, this book has been feeding into everything and I love it and I can't get enough of it. Um, I'm at the part, I'm on chapter seven, I'm at the part of energies and 
about the part where she's talking about, you know, chakras and stuff like that. But this shield ritual in here is amazing, and I love it. Um, can't get enough of this book so far. This book was given to me by um, an ex-co-worker. Um, she just saw The Hour of the Witch, and she had to get in and said Harry Potter, and she knew I was a big fan, but she didn't know the meaning behind it, that it was a guy, um, Steve Wahlberg, talking about how Harry Potter... Uh, convince children of that wicked witchcraft is the is a healthy path and it's and it's the best path in the world and um and how does how does the bible references or how's the um or how's the bible uh, affected by it and he gives props to us a little bit in the beginning he, um he talks about how we start, you know, Wicca wasn't such a big religion until the early, you know, 90s, and it ex just blew up. Once it ha once it hit the internet, it was like the fast, and still to, uh, I think still to this day, it is the fast-growing religion where it really trumps over a lot of uh, mainstream religion today. And it just hit mainstream and it went crazy and everything, but he's also somewhat ignorant to... I don't think he personally read any of our books. He, he he didn't claim he did, but he does talk a little bit about like Buffy the Vampire. I don't think he actually watched this. I don't think he actually put himself into it. And I mean, if I'm reading this and trying to get the concept of how he talks about us, I think before he starts writing a book, I think he should get the concept. He should watch the movies of Harry Potter. He should read the books. Um, he should actually read some of our Wicca Wick books and stuff like that. That might give him a different... Um, a different feel to it, but hey, to each their own, but I'm reading it, loving it, um, as much as I can, I, I laugh, it's more of a comedy book these days for me, my latest book is Practical Solitary Magic by Nancy B. Watson, I only got it for two bucks, um, I'm at the part where she's talking about the Architect of Magic, and it's in four planes. You got your physical, you got the mental, you got the emotional, and you got the spiritual. Um, and about this book is amazing how she says, if you were, okay, let's say, for instance, you were born as a psychic, and uh, you were born, like, intuitively, emotionally psychic, and uh, that shouldn't be the only skill that you should really practice, because it's already a gift, it's already enhanced. Um, she says don't, she also says, you know, really don't ignore it, but you should actually look into other skills that you should add on to it, and how, um, other things that you should, uh, be doing. So, kind of make you a wide, uh, a wide range, uh, practitioner. So, I thought that was amazing. Um, get the book. This, um, was Ryan's ex, uh, was Ryan's co-worker from... Red Robin, I think he was working, and she got the book, and she studied about Salem witch trials, and she had to do it in uh, in one of her class, her, one of our college classes, and she, I never actually got a chance to read the history of the the crazy. I call this the crazy time um, where Puritans took over. Um, took over, you know, you know the whole thing. The Crucible was a really good movie that was kind of based on a little bit of this, but I never really actually got a chance to read the history in it, and I would like to jump onto that, so that's one of my goals. But other than that, I've been reading three books. So, sorry for the long video, people, but um, I think my next video is going to be explaining my altar setup, and why do I have so much junk at my uh, on my altar versus some people who are plain Janes and they only set up when, what they need? I mean, I really want to talk about that. That should be my next hit. So, yay. Love you guys. Um, see you then. Blessed be.